Warning, this video contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature from the outset and throughout. Apart from Megan, who would you like to get with out of all the girls? I'd say one of these two. They look similar as well. Um, when Steve arrived, he was a completely different person. He was cocky, arrogant. That's not the Stephen that I knew, so I held my guard up straight away. I got on really well with Laura straight away, and so we just seemed to click. Are you trying to get me wet? It's the only way I'm going to manage it, is it? <laughs> She's a pretty girl, and she seemed like a lot of fun. So when Stephen first arrived, I was like, hmm, he is delicious. He absolutely blew me away, because I was not expecting, because, come on, like, I hadn't even been on any dates or like, even seen anybody that I fancied, so it was a nice feeling to have. Meg Reese's reaction to our initial flirtation wasn't very good. Did you kiss my ex? Just fucking say it, bitch! Uh, OK, you? yes, I did, yes, I did. I didn't feel bad at all about going with Meg Reese's ex-boyfriend because she made it quite clear anybody can get with him. He can get with whichever <laughs> one he wants. Meg Reese said that I could crack on with whoever I like, but as soon as I do crack on with somebody, she has an issue with it all of a sudden. Me and Stephen had a really heart-to-heart -heart and in-depth conversation. I just thought, I want this guy to get to know me for me and know everything about me so he can make his own mind up. Do you know what intersex means? No. So, when I was born, it was ambiguous. Laura being in sex was never an issue for me. And I just thought, well, she's opened up to me, she's given me a lot of information. Have you ever got a gap or they got a wiener? What if it's kind of like in between? It's just something of her past. It happened when she was very young, obviously, and it's just something she's had to get over and I don't see why it should become an issue for me. I think you're gorgeous and that's all that matters right now. I got a little bit drunk, I'm in the coach, Next minute, Steve picks me up, takes me to the girls' room for him and Laura to share that bed. He's carried his ex, not his ex, his friend, from one run room to another. When I picked Meg out of bed, and I didn't expect for it to come across the way that it did, I just thought, she's in the wrong bed, I'll carry it to her own. It came across the wrong way, and I'm eternally sorry for that. I don't trust people that easily, and the one person I did trust was Laura. No, Laura, she's one to watch. I think the fact that it was me that was getting with him really pissed her off. And it's like, sorry, bitch, you know, at the end of the day, a girl's got needs. I was really happy to walk out the same and say, Kirk, do you know what I mean? Like, I've always sort of associated him with like, re a really nice time in my life. I've got loads of fond memories with him. Oh my God, why is he so upset? I kicked off proper. Punched the walls, broke both of my hands. 